it is a risk that we haven't previously taken in the fire service. New at 11, first responders preparing to meet a new threat, active shooters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. It's a sign of the changing times. Firefighters coming under gunfire when responding to calls. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska live for us tonight in Clearwater with a new piece of gear firefighters are adding to their trucks. Michael. Jameson, Wendy, you know, it's happened nationally. Luckily, they have not been shot at here in Pinellas County, but they are getting bulletproof vests. Everyone in the Clearwater Fire Department will be required to wear those vests in the most dangerous situations. Clearwater firefighters are trained for car crashes, fires, medical emergencies, water rescues, and now... Tactical medic Lieutenant Chris Hoyne says, unfortunately, bulletproof vests are now necessary. We have these for an active shooter situation, but we'll be able to don them anytime we think we may need extra protection. Firefighters will not change their safety protocols. They'll still go in with law enforcement and wear the vests on calls where they feel that the vests would be necessary. Pinellas is the first Bay Area County to buy bulletproof vests for all of their first responders. Orange County purchased vests for their first responders after the Pulse nightclub terror attack. In 2013, a gunman held five firefighters hostage in a suburb north of Atlanta. In 2012, a man ambushed and killed two firefighters in Webster, New York. The vests will be installed in all of their engines, their trucks, and their rescue units. They can take a handgun, a shotgun, and a rifle round with this plate in the front and the back. Oh, and the helmets, bulletproof too. Clearwater Fire will complete their training tomorrow and hope they won't have to use them. But if they do, every second counts to save a life. If somebody gets shot in a femoral artery in your, you know, a large artery in your leg, you're gonna, you can bleed to death in uh, three minutes. And more recently, just last week, an Ohio firefighter was shot in the leg when someone started shooting at their fire truck. He thankfully was okay. The shooter still has not been caught. We're live here in Clearwater tonight. Michael Pluska, ABC Action News.